My name is Joseph Pereira. I am the test engineer for uh, Venus Express uh, here at ESA. My name is Virginie César Auguste. I am a laboratory engineer for the ESA Materials and Electrical Component Laboratory. We launched to Mars Express in 2003 and uh, it was such a success that uh, it was decided that we should uh, follow it up with a mission to Venus and so we decided to uh, investigate the possibilities of reusing the bus from Mars Express to, to go to Venus. The ESA Materials and Electrical Component Lab was approached to evaluate a uh, different part outside of the spacecraft, uh, mainly the thermal control subsystem, but also the solar array, the antennas, and all the appendages. Actually, these materials would have to go on working with uh, extreme conditions, uh, such as low and high temperatures, or also repeated thermal cycling, or combined UV and solar radiation. Most of the uh, major components were uh, similar, but the big change was the exterior of the spacecraft uh, because the two environments are totally different. If the result would have not confirmed the suitability of these materials, then we would have needed to find other materials. So this would have been, of course, possible, but would have caused a delay of the mission. So we made up a comprehensive setup which was called the Critical Materials and Evaluation Program with the Venus Express project and the industrial partners. So we propose actually to develop and to characterize all the materials that were uh, the most exposed uh, of the spacecraft. So receiving the highest heat load and radiation dose. Therefore, we focus our work on commercially available polymers. First, we did the thermal endurance testing in the high test facility. It's a facility where several samples can be simultaneously exposed to elevated temperature. We used the BOF CDD and the SOVA CDD in order to simulate the space radiation condition. We also used uh, some thermal analysis instrument in order to carry out um, and to characterize the thermal stresses and mass changes of the samples as a function of temperature. With this investigation, we could actually prove that the materials used on the Venus Express mission could actually survive the mission loads regarding temperature and radiation. The outcome was we found uh, the appropriate materials. We were able to launch uh, Venus Express in time on the 9th of November 2005. The spacecraft is still performing well and we're still getting useful uh, scientific data from the uh, scientific instruments.